is a place that I can come and I can surf some of the best waves in the world, some of the best big waves in the world. You know, we've got all the outer reefs, you've got Sunset, you've got the bay, um, you know, you've got just these, this amazing variety of, of ways to surf. It is a little mini metropolis in, in the sense that, you know, everyone's going to and from work. It might not be from their homes to their offices, but they're going from the home to their other office, the water, cruising on the beach. And, and uh, it's a lifestyle a lot of people strive for, and that lifestyle brings a lot of people here as well. Yeah, a really laid back feel, just little houses on the beach, and everyone's into their surfing. It's, it's a super cool place. The North Shore is the birthplace of modern surfing. And it's a place where if you're a pro surfer, you have to come and make, make your mark. Wiggy, what's going on? I just picked up uh, Cabrina's video guy from the airport and about six board bags worth of 2013 gear. Yeah, yeah, it looks, the forecast looks good next couple days. I think tomorrow is just kind of like a have fun video day and uh, we got some kites and some stuff here for you. So um, I think Pete's going to fly over Friday morning for the weekend. And uh, yeah, that's it. So, all right, shit. When it comes to surf, the North Shore of Oahu kind of won the lottery. <laughs> I mean, if you compare it to even its neighbor, Maui, um, just the way the North Shore is oriented, it gets unblocked west swells and northwest swells. And the island itself is shifted in such a way that the entire North Shore is actually protected from, from the trade winds. So for surfing, it's, it's amazing. Like a, a Northeast trade wind day is uh, straight offshore at most of the, the name brand surf spots. Whereas Maui, for example, Northeast Trades is just sideshore for 
you know, 15 miles along the North Shore. But the North Shore Oahu does have a couple of spots that are exposed to the trade winds. And when those spots light up, they're as good as anywhere in the world. Um, places like uh, Backyards and a couple of the outer reef spots just around there. Places like Mokalea. Yeah. And these are the places that guys like, like Rio, um, you know, cut his teeth, man. He surfed these spots growing up, and now he's kite surfing them. So um, he's got the place pretty dialed. My name is Rio Stevens, and I'm from North Shore of Oahu. There's a bridge on the North Shore, Rainbow Bridge, and that's the start of the Seven Mile Miracle, and I tend to stay on the other side of that a lot. Um, when you start crossing that, that's when you're getting into, into the metropolis, into the city, into the hustle and hustle of what the North Shore can be. And if you stay on the other side, people are a lot more laid back. You can go out and surf. People will give you waves versus being paddled around by some 12-year-old drum trying to like make a name for himself with the 20 photographers on the beach or something and and it's just it, it's just nice to go to the other side of that but it's also nice to know that there are places on the north shore that you can escape to and and other sports that allow you to escape from that from that scene like you know kite surfing it just gets you away from that scene and you're still having fun and catching waves and, you know you get a whole different side of the north shore the North Shore is, is an amazing place, it's, it's, it's the mecca of surfing and uh, pretty much all kind of ocean based water sports including karting and, and SUPing and, and all the rest of them and uh, I, I need to be here every year obviously with the, the big wave thing but um, this year it's obviously opened my eyes big time to, to the karting aspect as well. Yeah it's, it's really cool, cool being here on the North Shore, there's, there's so many good surfers and Sometimes, yeah, just coming down and sitting and watching, you're just seeing stuff that, that you've never seen before, guys guys ripping, and it really pushes me to, to want to progress further in my surfing and in my kiting. My mum was actually born on Oahu and lived probably half her life here. Been back several times, but this is the first time I've kind of come and really explored the island for kiting. I guess it's not as well known for its kiting like it is surfing, but it's a sick place and there's some fun waves around. It's definitely worth exploring.
like we spend a lot of time trying to emulate surfing, the sport of surfing, trying to get what we do with the kite as close as possible to what guys are doing surfing. Um, and I think there's a lot of criticism. Guys are saying, well, if, if you're trying to surf so much, why don't you just surf? <laughs> but that's the whole point is that we do, we do just surf. And kite surfing and, and surfing are so complementary that um, I think one is kind of just an extension of the other. And okay, surfing is the root of it all, so kite surfing is the ex extension of surfing. And you surf when there's no wind, and then as soon as the wind comes up, you kite surf. Yeah, for me, a good day surfing and, and good barrels is still probably the best thing that you'll ever get, but having a kite just opens up so many days when it sucks for surfing, and it just allows for yeah, so much more fun. You can go faster, you can hit the lip harder, you can do higher airs, and all that is made possible by the kite. What surfers haven't figured out about kiteboarding is that um, it is an extension of your surfing and it can actually help your surfing. If you live in an area that uh, has wind and no waves for a large period of the year, like Hawaii for instance, and where I live at home, you know, then it's the perfect sport. It's the perfect crossover sport. It's going to keep you in the water, it's going to keep you fit and healthy and um, there's no reason not to try it.